I always said in the past, this is the probably the only industry which is not corrupted. You can pay off somebody and get a medical seat. You can pay off somebody and get a job. You can pay off somebody and become a minister or an MLA. But you cannot pay off somebody and become a great actor. എല്ലാവർക്കും നമസ്കാരം ഞാൻ വളരെ എക്സൈറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഇരിക്കുകയാണ് സത്യം പറയാലോ എൻ്റെ ബി പി ഒക്കെ കൂടി കൂടി എവിടെയോ എത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ ഞാൻ ഒരു കാര്യം പറയട്ടെ ഇന്ന് ഇന്നത്തെ ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂടെ ഒരു പ്രത്യേകത നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും ഡിക്ഷണറി ഒക്കെ എടുത്ത് വെച്ചിട്ട് കയ്യിലിരിക്കണം ബിക്കോസ് ഞാൻ മാക്സിമം ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലാണെന്ന് സംസാരിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ബിക്കോസ് എൻ്റെ മുമ്പിലിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു വേൾഡ് വൈഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഫേമസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള പാൻ ഇന്ത്യ സൂപ്പർ ഹീറോസ് ആണ് ആൻഡ് ഇവരോട് ഞാൻ ഇന്ന് അടിച്ചു പിടിക്കാൻ പോകണം ഇതൊരു ഓണർ ആണ് ബിക്കോസ് നിങ്ങളെ പോലത്തെ ഷോ I think I should switch to English. No, we can, under- we could understand. To- <laughs> no, you speak. You, speak. <laughs> you can speak in Malayalam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malayalam. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm very happy because you're 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 very happy. I slept at only 9.30 that night. <laughs> How was that? So, uh, the thing is, uh, it's not an easy job to interview people like you because I have to read up so much. I watched all your interviews and the more I watched, the more nervous I got. I'm like, these guys are so cool, so chilled out. So, what do I ask them? and then today i realized that it's just to uh, like relax and just be myself so i'm really nervous Perfect. so sorry so let me start with the master brain over here rajmouli sir um kerala loves you people over there adore you and we, we watch your kerala. film first day <laughs> uh, first day morning show 5:30 show and all we go and watch because that's a kind of acceptance you've received from our audience and um, i just want to ask you you are not limited to telugu anymore you are a fan in their famous uh, person and you cater to audience worldwide and as you know uh, india is not like we have cultural diversity even in case of from kerala like there is a lot of difference yeah. how do you manage to uh, connect with audience across the globe the same way like it's like everybody understands your film whether it's the story or the emotion or the values even the food <laughs> how do you do that no uh, see culturally we might be different we might be speaking different languages uh, the way we behave for different instances might be different but what we feel is the same our emotions are the same as human this beings this is the answer i knew yeah. he would say because you are an emotional person uh, thank you so much for that answer is there anything else that you think about or do you consciously put some element of commonness when you try to write no the, the commonness is the story itself uh, when i'm making the story i uh, i i don't put a conscious effort but uh, unconsciously i'll be making stories which are like universal in, yes. in nature universal uh, in nature yeah so at the end of it if i look at my story and say is this an universal kind of story then i try to make it a commercially a, a, a pan indian film or catering to the indians all across the globe that kind if i find a Uh, like a Maria Dramana kind of film, then I'll make it only in Telugu. Okay. okay. In so now uh, that's how you choose. So you decide which one is supposed to be Paranaya. So you decide. Yeah. So next question is, um, like he said, uh, the strength of his film is the strength of the heroes, the emotional strength. They may not have necessarily superpowers that, that is like unusual, but the heroes have a superpower of emotional strength. And uh, when he called you for this film, how did you guys feel? Like, okay, you both are going to, turn into superheroes uh, things that you can't do in real life you're going to explore in in front of the camera and it's gonna, you're going to watch that on big screen how did you feel <laughs> <laughs> i mean see it's it's not about feeling this you know this 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 feeling of being a superhero i think the fact is as an actor you're very excited you're like in a candy shop yeah <laughs> when you when you're working with Rajmouli. There's a lot of juice. Yeah, you're, you're like a child in a candy shop. You're going to get pampered. Yeah, there's so much. Yeah. Pampered? No, I mean, no. like, you're not pampered. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a judge. Yeah, <laughs> you're never pampered. Yeah. But you at least are like a kid in a candy shop where you can grab. grab. There's so much for you to grab. There's does so he much let you, you to... grab everything you want? Yeah, he does, yeah. See, that's what he wants his actors to do. He wants his actors, he wants his technicians to grab as much as possible. You know, because he's giving you so much. and he wants you to grab everything and give him that much in return awesome so that's what an actor is more excited about okay more than okay now you're uh dealing you know like working with the director post bahubali no it was never like that nothing has changed in rajmouli since our first film together that's another question i've written please don't do in that <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've like planned the question about right, it yeah. i'll ask you and what about you sir like how do you i think feel? the thirst for an actor uh is really satisfied when you work with him 
and that's what I look forward when I'm uh, entering his sets. And he challenges you, not pampers you. He <laughs> challenges you. He stimula uh, uh, stimulates the the thirst of an actor, and in every aspect, as in action, dance, even in dance, he literally doesn't yeah. show us, but he would have uh, really done his homework. Yeah. I tried the Natu Natu step. Like I just can't get it. I just can't get it. <laughs> yeah, like how do you guys do that? You. It's not. No, it's he'll not such you. a difficult step. Like, but you should actually try to do it with somebody, and that's mm -hmm. when it's. Tends to become difficult. It, I just can't get it right. Take a sir. promise. How long did you guys take to uh, learn that step? Because the whole nation is like the worldwide reels, Instagram, wherever you open, everyone's doing this step, um, and most of them are getting it right. Some are not, but they're still acting as if they're getting it right. Yeah. And uh, it's all about that trend, you know. Yeah. And uh, how did you? How long did you take to get that step right? It didn't take long. We both learned it step instantly. Is, as I as I told you, you know, before that, the step itself is very easy. But what's actually tough is the coordination, and the which he wants, yeah. which he actually wanted from the song. He wanted two people of two different heads, two different minds, two different body structures, two different mentalities to become one. Yeah. <laughs> but you're actually two different people, but you're one. It's it's like one body. What if there's a human being with four legs and four arms, yeah. right? So everything moves in a coordination. So like their mind is one. That's where the challenge was. Yes. So that's where the challenge is. And 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 I don't know, it was it just it just went viral. viral. Yeah, without even pushing it. Yeah. It was so organic. <laughs> yes. You know, like Rajmoli mentioned it. He was like, you know, they're a mother with a son or a daughter, a father with a son and a daughter, two, you know, two brothers, a brother and a sister, a husband and a wife. There's so many people. There's and no there limit to. I saw a, a group of people, like so yeah. many people together. They they coordinated. And there were people who actually really, really, really excelled it, yeah. like with perfect sync and all. <laughs> so the step, as it is, is not very tough, but it's the sync which we 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 had to get. That was that really okay. killed us. <laughs> uh, sir, both of them are very energetic. Like on the interviews, I could see them like being like children. They're so <laughs> so unruly sometimes. Yeah. How did you handle them on the set? Like, was it easy or was it? Did you have to get a? He's good with children. Bati <laughs> etiquette, you know. He's good with children. When they uh, <laughs> when they're in the mood to uh, act and perform, they're very good students. No, that you don't need to tell them what to do, and they're in that in that phase. And suddenly it, it goes off, and they become like not even just school children; they'll become like. Kindergarten kids. <laughs> no, so how do you control kindergarten kids? You can't control them. You just have to wait for that for that phase to go away. That's and, a mood. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's it. So both of you have worked with him before. Um, I just wanted. This is what I wanted to ask you. Uh, this question is for both of you, Ramsa. Like, how was it to work with him in the past, and uh, how is he as a director now? Like, what has changed? Or has it anything changed at all? Nothing. Everything became 10x. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his thought process, the horizon he's now uh, uh, set for everyone, is uh, way bigger, mm -hmm. way deeper in okay. terms of writing. It's way deeper. I've been really, after a long time, I've seen all his films. I think I've enjoyed, and I'm sure I will also s enjoy seeing the the depth of writing which we have enacted for was. Uh, it was was something to it's a treat for the audience it was a treat for us when we were working yeah. it's a treat for the audience the Thank writing you. yes of course sir's film will have 10000 people in one frame thousands of people like and uh, yeah everything you'll have the yes. the background everything but this is this script is something which i'm really looking forward to seeing on big screen me too all of yeah. us are <laughs> we are ready we are like brace yourself what about you? Why did you nudge him right now? He nudged me when you were talking. Who? What the hell? When? <laughs> I swear he nudged me when you were talking. You saw what he I, did, I, right? I'm seeing everything. Huh? Like, <laughs> so about you, what has changed? In yeah, life? as as Charan said, I would like cut, copy, paste everything he said. Just would like to add that he's bigger, yes, hungrier, thirstier, <laughs> and, and even madder <laughs> than what he's he was. One before. of the best we have in India, and. Yeah. Uh, yes. I think, um, and I think South, he has to be that. Yes, too. as South Indians, we feel so proud when our movie releases, and uh, it's like it's a statement made, and uh, it's like we fit in, and mm. not just fit in, we are at par or maybe better, and um, even Bollywood celebrates our films, right? So that's that's a huge achievement, and we cannot talk about RRR without mentioning Bahubali and the great success that it achieved, the kind of 
benchmark that it has set. Has it ever made you feel a little vulnerable or a little nervous? Um, because thinking about the kind of expectation that people have, mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel? I have this habit of just uh, letting Detached. go of the previous film. Of, yeah. uh, of course, the, the memories stay with me. But uh, rest everything, I just let it go. Whatever experiences that I had, whatever the lessons that I learned from the film, the memories will be with me. Then I let go of the film and work on the new film. So uh, this, uh, this is like RRR is my, is my first film. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> and the casting done in this film is just too cool. There are people from various uh, industries coming together and Alia and Ajay Devgan. And was, what, was all this a conscious effort or did it happen naturally? <laughs> like when you wrote about Sita, you could see only Alian in that role. Or see, uh, how we went about it is like arts, art and commercials, uh, commercial aspect of the film go hand in hand. Hand in hand. Uh, we can't completely uh, separate them. But the way we work is like we, we make, we make, we put the art in the driver's seat. Okay. And the commercial, commercial. Uh, aspects of it follow. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I needed a very soft yet strong uh, girl in you the heart for the... You mentioned as a diamond. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. She looks fragile. Yeah. She's like... But she's, she's, she's... Yeah. she's She looks fragile like a glass, but actually she's a she's hard, as, hard, as hard as a diamond. So that is my requirement. Oh, that I, requirement. I need that girl kind of girl for the role of Sita. Then I look at the commercial aspects of it. Now, is there some heroine who is a uh, known face, who people would like to watch, who will fit into my role? Okay. So that's how I follow the lead. The whole nation or the whole world is actually waiting yeah. for RRR on March 25th and uh, we can't think of anything else and uh, we've been watching everything else on repeat and the trailer looks amazing. Um, uh, as a director, okay, uh, I'm so sorry, the, most of my questions are directed please, towards Please, me. please, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> okay. We're actually happy when he's answering. But you can join whenever you feel like. Yeah. Yeah. As a director, you create a visual treat for people, right? Like, um, I remember going for Bahubali. Uh, so I had a shoot, right? So we went with this huge group, Priyaji, Priyamani. She mm. was there with us and all of us were there together. Prasanna Master was there. Mm. So we all bought popcorns. <laughs> and by the end of the film, the popcorn is still there. We forgot to eat it. Oh, <laughs> That's how engrossed we were. And the next thing we were saying is we should watch this in another, uh, another language because I want to watch it again. Because every oh, yeah. free frame was so, so beautiful. I want to stop it see every detail and then forward, yeah. <laughs> you know. That's why people are addicted to his films. I feel yeah. there's so much of detailing going in and um, it's just crazy how you do, do it. Mm. And you are an amazing storyteller. So my question is, where did you realize that you were going to uh, get into this industry and start entertaining millions of people? Did you know this would happen <laughs> or did it just happen? No, I... <sighs> I was a storyteller from right my right from my childhood. Since you were a boy. Yeah, very very young. In the second class or third class itself, I used to tell stories. So and when you used to bunk class, did you ever tell a story to, to, to the To my teacher? classmates, to my <laughs> classmates. Uh, then uh, I never realized I'd become a director then because my family is into films. Uh, naturally, my my journey went towards films, and one by one uh, happened. He's very simple. He's a very simple guy. What do you have to say about him as a director? As a director, uh, the first question we answered, I think, uh, he's... Uh, Is he always like this? Like, like this simple? Calm and yeah, I think uh, he speaks less, but uh, he delivers more, he makes us also deliver. <laughs> <laughs> the same. <laughs> so, um, another thing I wanted to ask was, there has been a rumour going around saying there is a Hollywood actor whose presence is just suspense, like, mm -hmm. it's a rumour, I heard it. No, no, it's, it's not a suspense or anything, yeah. uh, because it's set in the British era, we okay. need the uh, fair-skinned actors to be there. Uh, so, we brought in uh, three, four actors from abroad and a couple of uh, Anglonian actors, uh, fair-skinned actors who have been living in India and they're part of the film. Okay. Uh, so there's no Apart suspense about it. Apart from the people it. in the trailer, is there any other face? That's and what th I heard. There, no. no uh, no, actually there is nothing, uh, so my doubt. there is nothing to hide in that. Uh, there is nothing hide to hide in No it. suspense, no, no suspense. suspense. Part of it. Because you do have a suspense sequence in the second half, which we are all waiting yeah. to see. <laughs> Something that's going to give us goosebumps, like the action sequence. Or, yeah. I, I don't know what it is, just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, we live in an era where movies are discussed and dissected and reviewed and criticized just hours after its release. I think during Bahubali's time, it was not this much, but there are people now making a living out of it. 
this is what they do as a job so every day it becomes so competitive that they have to talk about the film uh, even the first half they discuss and then they go watch the second half because they want to be the first ones to post something sure. about the film right does that ever ever bother you because you invest like years and years of hard work into it sweat and time and energy and money and thousands of people are involved in this film right so um people just talking about the film like good no. or bad does that bother you the only thing that bothers me i'm not bothered about the reviews good or bad i'm not bothered about discussions in the forums good or bad nothing that that's that's the i should be more worried if no one is talking about the film. <laughs> okay okay the, the the only thing that bothers me is that you know the review as the film is going Going mm-hmm. minute to minute. Something called as a live review. Yeah. Somebody is a somebody is a. There's something called as a live review. He means like while the movie is going on, there's someone writing the review here. Mm-hmm. As it's going, okay, first ten minutes this is happening. Second, mm-hmm. okay, the hero is coming now. Okay, the heroine is coming now. Live update. Okay, the, like yeah, like live update kind <laughs> of. Thing that, the only thing that bothers me, right? If the guy wants to do it, okay, let him do it. But boss, he bought a ticket with money, so enjoy my movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Ali, but like, if you ask me oh. who's my favorite actress, I would say her name. Like ever since I watched Highway. I know uh, she's a versatile actor and she's been she's been crazy with her acting skills. Uh, what did she bring to the table when she uh, came to the sets of RRR? Uh, exactly what she's supposed to uh, do uh, like we were discussing uh, earlier she has to look fragile <laughs> but she should have the inner strength to to be able to bring these two super powers of fire and water together. Yes. And uh, not let them destroy each other. That is what her role in the film is. and that's what exactly she she did terrific performer i love her uh, i love her from uh, razi on uh, a, uh, uh, 1 to 10 how much would you give her as an actor as an actor uh, 9.5 9.8 uh, yeah. for tarak tarak is 10 10 yeah uh, for ram same 10 same yeah, yeah. oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in your films i've seen that women are uh, portrayed in a very strong way uh, even in the trailer when the daughter is taken away the mother scream uh, i don't know how many times i've seen it because i'm a mother i have mm. a 1 year old daughter oh, nice. so i understand the emotion of a mother when the daughter is taken away mm. and the way she emoted i don't know who she was but mm. i saw her expression and it mm. was so powerful mm. and her scream those tears in her eyes and and then i realized in all your films i can relate to the women in the in the character whether it's shivagami or devasena or whoever it is they are such bold women even when they are uh, in they in chains or even when they are vulnerable they are still powerful so how do you in, get inspired like where do you derive these kind of you know, thoughts i from? i have no intentions of okay let's make an powerful woman character in the movie i don't i don't think like that it just happens no no my 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 only thing is i should have a dramatic situation if the dramatic situation needs a powerful woman i'll have a powerful woman if that situation needs a vulnerable woman i'll have a vulnerable woman. if that situation needs a weak woman i'll put a weak woman so i i don't have any uh, uh, whatever you say I, i don't intend to do that okay uh, uh, socially deliver a message or something it's just creating the exact drama i, I need to create a fantastic demands? dramatic situation for the audience who are paying me money to do the job okay and your the women you created are all engraved in our hearts like right? if, if i may add feel. to it yes fine his intent is not there in in the movie but rajmouli is one strong man surrounded by strong women yes. yeah <laughs> in general uh, uh, amongst the panja pandavas one is your wife and that's a beautiful thing and one is his uh, <laughs> uh anni yes <laughs> which uh, i think is a beautiful thing that yeah. you give them such a huge project and the kind of responsibility they are yeah. able to handle it gives other women courage like uh, other women who are looking up to them they know if she can do it i can do it that's how no, again i have don't in, i have no intentions of uh, bringing them forward and giving them a great life making a platform for them yeah. no they i want to make it. my life easier yeah so <laughs> I, i give them the job to make my life easier there is this uh holding hands uh, yeah. it has actually become very popular okay. um so what does it symbolize i i know it's friendship and how what did you choose why did you choose this as the yeah basically uh charan symbolizes uh fire and uh, tarak symbolizes water and the lyric this the starting of the song uh dosti so yeah. basically if the fire and water are coming together 
one will destroy the other. Yeah. If the fire is stronger, it will evaporate the water. If mm. the water is strong, it will put out the fire. So what's going to happen? How do they become friends? Yeah, how do how do how does they have become friends? How does what does the friendship is is going Evolve to give them? Yes. Is it going to destroy them? And who is going to destroy each who other? Who is going to dis get destroyed? Yes. <laughs> so uh, that's a beautiful message too. I want to ask uh, when you release a movie, Pan India, obviously you need to work with a lot of people hand in hand to make sure the movie releases smoothly yet with a bang like f first day everybody has it. it has to be houseful right so people need to know when it is releasing you have to literally hammer it into their head so from Kerala uh, I heard that you created a huge bus in uh, bus as in BUZZ uh, in Trivandrum when you all came yeah. <laughs> there was a huge crowd even a fan uh, came running and there's a lot of stories I've heard yeah. Um, so, what do you have to say about Kerala market and who is helping you with the, uh, with the promotions and everything and how is it going there? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Across the country it has been fantastic and uh, uh, Kerala is a, a, a bit special because many of our holidays will be in Kerala, <laughs> many of our film shootings Shoots. will be in, uh, uh, in Kerala and uh, Kerala is an evolved audience uh, and we, uh, we make kind of uh, nice masala movies. So getting a, a certificate from the Kerala audience is like, okay, <laughs> we reach to all kinds of audiences. So Kerala is uh, is definitely special. Special. And, uh, special. and when we go there for a uh, film uh, event and we see the kind of crowd that is coming and we see the kind of buzz Response, that was, buzz, that's, that's yeah. happening. So it makes us super happy. Okay, we got okay. one one tick in the box. And uh, uh, I have been meeting Shibu uh, sir for a, a long time. Uh, he's a close friend of my father, even though their ages are quite different. <laughs> he's my uh, close friend, we met many times. And at the time of the promotion, I didn't know Shibu sir was, yeah, he's associated with my uh, with my film. Okay. You know, I was completely busy with doing uh, something and suddenly I ran into him and I said, hey, Shibu sir, what are you doing in Hyderabad? And mm. he said, I came to here to buy, buy the movie. Yeah. And I, it didn't even stuck me then that he came to buy RRR. <laughs> <laughs> and then after after a while, it stuck me, and I was so happy to get associated with him because He's the kind of best. passion he has the, yes. for the film. That's the kind of people you'd like to associate uh, with. Definitely, definitely. And what about you uh, both? Uh, how do you see Kerala? What do you uh, love so much about Kerala? Absolutely, we all uh, adore your films and your actors. The amount of uh, could you mention a film that you really like recently? Uh, or? Huh? Anything. Minnal Murli. Minnal Murli. Murli, of course. Murli, of it's course. Uh, and then, yeah. of course, I like all Lal Sir's films I've been following. Prithvi Sir's uh, direction, directorial films. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Lucifer, which my dad is doing here. Yeah. I'm, uh, we are huge fans of your film and your audience have evolved so much yeah. with such great films. It is very important, like Rajmoli Sir said, uh, for us to come there and get that validation from them. And that was one of the few city promotions which I I was a little scared to come and see the acceptance and see how they will accept us. And thanks to Shibu sir and his production and team, they've done a fantastic job. Fantastic yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. And really we're really it. waiting because um, even now the Bahubali fans are still there. I have a cousin sister who's watched, uh, her name is Shraddha. She's watched Bahubali at least a hundred times. Wow. <laughs> at least. Like every time I walk into a room, she's watching one or one scene or the other. I'm sure RRR is going to be like that because it's the way he visualizes his characters and they just turn into demigods. Mm -hmm. uh, and they just turn into the ultimate version of a human form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how they are uh, yeah. personified mm -hmm. in a film. You visualize a lot before the film happens and during the film. Does your visualization end when the movie finishes or do you continue to visualize even after, like, do you visualize the success of the film? Like, all three of them? Of course, I'm not, I will not be a human being if I don't dream about the success of the films. But I I try to not not get into that uh, uh, space because I have so much of job on hand to, uh, hand to do. Surprisingly, for me, once I... I tell the scene very nicely. I, I, I tell... I, I'm a good orator when it Absolutely. comes to the storytelling. <laughs> But once it comes onto the screen, once I capture capture it, I lose it. I can't tell the scene again. Uh, that's a surprising quality that <laughs> that I have. Once it's captured on screen, it goes out of my mind. It goes out of your mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, does that happen to you? Once you're done the scene, does it go out of your mind? <laughs> no, see, um, what I have learned, at least in my career, is that, see, when I was young, 
naive when I didn't know anything about it. There was a lot of expectations, you know, you want your movies to work, you yeah. know. And then it would it would really, really, really it would it would influence me. You know, if my uh, uh, movie wouldn't work, you know, it really would you know, I would really go into the zone and 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 I wouldn't come out of it. And you then again there was a uh, you know, your movies work and the, again you're all in a gala uh, mood and but somewhere I think over the years, I the the moment I stopped, I don't know how it happened. Uh, well, I think it's 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 absolutely the only person I really in the industry I talk to about all these things is is only Jakarna. So I think I don't know somewhere slowly and it's unknowingly I've I've a movie working or not working. It probably just stays for a day or not even more than an hour sometimes. What remains is the journey. The journey. How happy I am as an actor being a part of that film. Being a part of It's that. the journey which is more important. Today, fine, Triple R will be a blockbuster. Maybe it will just stay in my head for a day. But what I would love, what will remain is the journey all of us made for this movie to release. That will stay close to me. And, and and a few scenes would definitely stay close to me. Like, yeah, you know, I love that scene. I, I, I really think, I really think my director was very happy with me in that. So it's it's mostly the journey of the film than the, the end memory. result. The of journey the of the film that really remains in remains your heart. With me. I think all three of you are extremely lucky because we are such a huge industry. Uh, if anybody wants to be an engineer or a doctor, they can learn, just become. But when it comes to an actor or a director, it's not that easy. You have to really prove yourself to reach there. There are thousands and lakhs of people who want to be actors. They've literally lived their whole life wanting to be sitting in their, that seat is what they dream of. Uh, and as a director, like a lot of people dream about being on that other side. What do you have to tell those people? Don't stop watching? dreaming. Sorry. <laughs> Don't, Don't stop, stop dreaming. <laughs> Don't stop dreaming. I, I always keep dreaming, uh, keep working for it. I always said in the past, this is the probably the only industry which is non-corrupt. You can pay off somebody and get a medical seat. You can pay off somebody and get a job. You can pay off somebody and become a minister or an MLA. But you cannot pay off somebody and become a great actor. You cannot. Or a great director. This is the only industry that based on talent. Because people are the uh, Yeah, we are really fortunate and lucky to be quite successful or sustaining in this sustaining. industry for a while. 